Hello, fellow nuclear nerds. My name is Peggy Pauly, and welcome to my Gen 4 research pitch on laser ablation of aluminum and other metals for corrosion resistance in molten salts. Let's get started. I love it here. I think that you don't get this in a lot of places. This is like the perfect combination of everything that I am excited about and everything that I am. We have the Navy base back here. The background is my background. We have the ocean and the air and this beautiful scenery. And it's such a perfect combination of all of the things that I'm working for. The Navy is what led me to nuclear. And nuclear is such a huge part of the future of green energy. And I get to be a part of the future of that. Molten salts are gonna play a huge role in the future of uh, of climate change and of uh, carbon reduction and one of the biggest problems that we have with molten salts is corrosion. So you may be asking yourself why is corrosion a big deal when it comes to molten salts? Let's talk some electrochemistry about it. Corrosion requires a full electrochemical loop in order to occur. We need a difference in electrochemical potential and an ionic solution to bridge that gap for those electrons to move. If that ionic solution happens to be a molten salt and you have aluminum with another metal with a higher electrochemical potential, then we have the perfect setup for electron movement and dissolution of our aluminum. So what are we going to do about it? Our research is going to take this idea that this corrosion is happening because of the moisture, because of things like molten salts. We're going to take this chemistry and we're going to do something with it. We are going to take normal metals, these fancy, expensive metals that are in a lot of research right now, but we're going to take normal, readily available, less expensive metals and we're going to coat them. We're going to use lasers and we're going to create this amazing passivation layer that makes them more uh, durable in the molten salt. And by doing that, we can decrease the corrosion. We can actually put them into things like electrochemical testing and x-ray diffraction, and we can see how the layers of the metal change and how the corrosion rates can decrease. And we can not only decrease the cost of these materials, but we can make molten salt systems more viable. And that seems really silly to get excited about when you're in a place like this, but it's the perfect encapsulation of everything that I am and everything that I am doing for grad school and the whole reason that I am here. And I just, I just love that about this. <laughs> so here's what we've done so far. We took our laser and we treated our aluminum sample. We put that sample into molten salt with a reference electrode and a counter electrode to mimic our power processing environment. Use that data to calculate corrosion rates, and so far, we are getting a lower corrosion rate for our treated sample. I think that's pretty darn cool. This, this is it. This right here is the perfect way to package up what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how I want to do it. We have renewables, and renewables are great, they're exciting, they're a huge part of the future of clean energy, but it's not enough. We need to take renewables with nuclear with molten salt. We need to make a difference in the molten salt community through our chemistry to decrease corrosion, to make it viable and put it all together for the future of green energy. And I love that this is here because it's the perfect end cap of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and how I want to do it. We want to take energy and we want to make it clean and green.